This is going to be an AoE Blood Thrall build guide. This build was introduced to me by my good friend Varillo, who streams on Twitch Sunday through Thursday, I believe, 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you want to check him out, he's got a ton of builds. He really likes to theory craft them up. He's re-rolled a ton of times, and he's a great source of information on AoE grinding, as he is pretty much all he does. So, this is the build right here. Um, a lot of these skills are just taken in order to get to the next ability. I don't even use some of these. For instance, I don't use a lot of witchcraft stuff. The only two witchcraft things I use really are curse and death touch. Sometimes I use magic rupture. Um, feel free to play around with the passives a little bit, but not too much. If you don't have this many skill points to spend, go ahead and let me know how many skill points you have to spend down in the comments and we can make you a build on a site that's custom for uh, the amount of points that you have. So, yep. These are the skills. These are the, so the associated cards. They're kind of hard to see. So I'm going to go over the cards individually just so you can it's easier for the see. so we're gonna start in warfare um, I use troll on brutal strike on polar bear or sorry on feasting strike I use polar bear blade storm I use troll knight dwarf elementalist I use earthquake we do not use a card on berserk we don't like any of the cards on berserk so on a lot of my builds I leave it empty uh, moving over here, Smiting Smash, we used Winterborn Guardian, Shield Throw, Minotaur Warden, Spirit Shield, Jackal Moonblade, Blessed Earth, Lava Cap Mushroom, Provoke, Minotaur Champion, Orc Nightstar, Banner of Protection, Unbreakable, Skeleton Pikeman, Unchained, Direhorn Drake. Curse, Hog Cultist. Death Touch, Troll, or Wardlock. Those are the cards associated with the skills that we actually use. I don't really use anything else. If you feel like this build is missing something, feel free to let me know. But it gets the job done. So we're up here at Spiders, Cold String Burrows. Spawn at El Elder Coast Respawn Shrine. Just run a little bit north. Our effective level is level 63. So these are, you know, five, five, six, seven levels higher than us. That's perfect. We'll get lots of good loot, lots of good XP. Here are my stats. I pretty much go full bore into might. The food that I run is vitality, defense, uh, booze melon and whetstone and i do defensive stats on my food because um i'm still a little bit squishy and i have enough damage to kill everything in the one combo so everything dies in one combo but i can still die if i'm not careful so we just go full we just go full um everybody knows you never go full defensive buffs if you want, you can actually switch to a higher level build. So level 71 build here instead of level 63. You can pop some higher level effective food. For instance, let's go Let's go Danish, which is effective level 70, right? And fire red kebab, which is effective level 66. You actually wouldn't be able to use these on the lower level build. So now we'll switch to the blood thrall. I'm pretty sure it's still active. I don't know why my defense power went down. I think that's because I think that's a stat thing. But anyways, now we I always like to have 100 HP at least, and then I just dump the rest into might. It's more than enough. As for pulling right here, I just used my power surge. That's okay. As for pulling right here. So you want to, you kind of want to start 
the pool with 100 aether. I'm going to grab some aether right here. No problem. We're going to go spirit shield unbreakable. Uh, sorry, to pull. It all depends, right? So spiders, they demount you and they slow you. And there's all these abilities that they use that are really, really annoying. So you can pull on foot. I'll do an on foot pull real quick. So I'm just going to use a shield throw. Oh, hello. Unbreakable spirit shield. Once everything's grouped up, I'm going to use a curse and a death touch. And then I'm going to use my banner of protection and then my provoke. Unchained, feasting strike, smiting smashed, blessed earth. I'm going to pop my power surge. Use my Berserk. Blade Storm. Earthquake. Everything's done. I end full HP. Bada boom. Bada bing. Really easy. Love this build. Gonna wait for my cooldowns. So that was a, a pull that I did on foot. Now, there's another way you can pull. And you can pull on your mount. Without getting demounted. Uh, you're, for this, you're going to want to have superior barding or better, which reduces the chance of being dismounted by 25. Uh, you should get barding that reduces your chance of being dismounted by whatever percent as soon as possible. You'll get demounted significantly less. So I'm going to show you this method now. So now I'm going to pop unchained, and then I'm going to get on my mount if this spider lets me. I don't think he's going to. That's really annoying. All right, we'll just go ahead and yeah. Everything's gonna spawn back. I'm just gonna go up here real quick. I think I can hide away for a second. Wait for our unchained. Basically, you pop unchained and it removes any movement impairing effects and makes you immune to them for 12 seconds. That's more than enough time to get on your mount, do a huge pull, and you can get 12 or 13 or 14 spiders all grouped up at once. If you're a high level, if you're like matching level with these guys, or you're higher level than them, they're, they're not gonna aggro as much, so you might as well just pull on foot. You're probably tanking them really well then. So I'm gonna pop unchained, I'm gonna get on my mount, and unless this guy is, this guy might be pulling everything. So we got a few down here. Notice how I'm not getting demounted. I did there. So we're gonna shield throw so we can move a little bit further. We're gonna get cornered in here. It's tough. This is the most annoying part about farming these spiders is the movement impairing abilities that they put on you. Other than that, it's a pretty good spot to grind. I like it. The squishiness of the mobs makes it a really... You can come here uh, with a class that's significantly lower level than than the spiders and still survive really easily. Uh, they'll still, If you're a low level, they'll do a ton of damage to you, but they're really squishy. So you'll be able to um, you'll be able to one combo them. You should be able to. I'm gonna try to do this pull again to show you. So we're gonna use unchained, and then we're gonna hop on our mount. And we're just gonna run through, and then we're gonna stop here. Let everything group up. Spirit shield. There's another guy here, so I can usually pull a lot more than this. Curse, Death Touch, Banner. This is where Unchained comes in handy because it gives you 30 Aether here. And then the Feasting Strike that you use will give you a bigger heal. But it's okay. It's not that important. If you are having trouble...
killing the mobs, then don't use the unchained pull ability on the mount because the unchained card I don't even know if I was using it. I think I was doing it grinding a different area that wasn't I think I was grinding a different area that didn't have any movement impairing abilities. So I wasn't using the appropriate card. Let me just check here real quick. Why won't you die? Do that while in combat, of course. While in combat. Um, for each moving impairing type cleansed, gain 7% bonus for 12 seconds. So yeah, we weren't using it. We don't need the heal on that. So we'll do it again. There is a lot of movement impairing abilities that these spiders use so this is actually i really highly suggest using this card i don't know why i had that other card on i think i was grinding something else that didn't have i think i was grinding wolves and wolves don't have movement impairing abilities so just make sure whatever you're grinding actually has movement impairing abilities if you're going to use this card and you'll notice that the damage is significantly higher It's only one movement impairing ability, but that's still 7% more damage. I didn't do a ton of damage there because I didn't let my Bladestorm challenge. Bladestorm is a really tricky ability when you first start using it. It's really finicky. I think it has something to do with like, I don't know. I think my keyboard is a little bit sensitive and sometimes it registers as a double input. So when you're trying to use Bladestorm, make sure everything's off cooldown. Like make sure all your global cooldowns are up. Like you see this. And then just tap it really lightly, Bladestorm. And then wait for the channel. Don't don't press anything else. Don't double tap it. You know, just tap it once really lightly. And then you'll uh, use the ability appropriately. So yeah. That is Bloodthrall AoE farming at cold string burrows if you like the video make sure you drop a like subscribe to the channel we're live on twitch monday through thursday 6 a.m eastern standard time to 12 p.m eastern standard yeah. time thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next one peace